With great pleasure, I bring you I got it, I got it. So now we can take 16 scoops of pump a day. We can just take NO7 when we're chilling in our room. It's like Christmas all over again. It's always Christmas, unless you're Jewish, then it's Hanukkah. <laughs> You got this, ready? <laughs> this is how I open packages. What's inside? What's inside? What's inside? Yeah. Wow! Okay, so we have pumped. 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 <laughs> Pre. Pre. And. Pre. And then we got sampled. Okay, so we got NO7, steel new NO7. We got some Veg Pro. So what's pretty cool is that with every package that we receive from Steel, we get a bunch of samples. So if there's something new, like the NO7 that we that they just released a few weeks ago, then I can try it out before purchasing the, the whole container, which is obviously more expensive. But as you guys can see, we're absolute pump fiends. We take this uh, six times a day, run through like one container every two days or so because there's three of us taking it. This guy, he's like, eh, maybe I need another half scoop. I don't think I got a full scoop. So he just takes like one and a half every day. He takes it too. So three people, three times the pump. Three times the pre. Let's go. Brayden, for some reason, seems to think that I'd be lost without him. If I didn't have him as my cameraman, then somehow all of my videos would look like garbage. But personally, I think they'd look better like this. All my videos would look like this, guys. So this is what I was talking about with the Zevia addiction. We got home, like, what, five, five minutes ago from getting two cases of Zevia. He's already got two done. Conquered. First I said that I love you when you ain't say that shit back It's kinda hard to just trust you when both your feelings don't match Got me showing less emotions, I don't wanna get attached Once I give you my word, I swear it ain't no going back Once I give you my heart, you better keep that shit intact Instead of showing the words, girl, I'm just here stating facts You want me to take you back All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video, another talking style video. As I said, throughout this quarantine period, I'm gonna be doing more talking, more connecting with you guys. And since yesterday's video did so well, I thought that today would be a great day to release another one talking to you guys about my perspective on this quarantine, what I'm going through, and some coping mechanisms that I'm using to kind of deal with any anxiousness, anxiety, even depression that I've been dealing with without being able to get out as much and be as active as I usually would. And then hopefully you guys can connect and learn from this video as much as you did from the other one because that was an absolutely ridiculous response all your guys positive comments it's just something that i want to continue on because in the past some of my comment section has been fairly negative and i want to show you guys more of myself so that you don't see me as just this fitness personality that's not an actual person that goes through obviously some of the same things that you guys go through so to give you guys a little bit of background on my story in the past i've dealt with a little bit of anxiety depression as any anybody would really especially in teenage years in this video, I don't want to act like I'm some sort of therapist or doctor. I just want to share with you guys what I've been through and what I'm going through over this quarantine period so that you guys can learn from it. Obviously, with the introduction of social media into my life, there's a little bit more anxiousness, anxiety, sometimes a little bit of worry about how I'm looking or how I'm appearing, how I'm speaking, all these different things just because I am putting myself out there. And that's definitely not a negative thing. I think sometimes we need to push past that point to move forward in our lives. But at the same time, there are some things that have given me anxiety and one of those things is obviously comments and things like that. I haven't spoken a lot about it, but I'm so glad that in my previous video, you guys were able to connect with me finally and show some positivity and love. I love seeing that. So thank you guys so much. I'll be responding to a lot of the comments on this video as well. So leave a comment down below. If you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, if you agree, disagree, anything, I'm open to starting a positive discussion, obviously in our comment section, just like the last video. Now, one big part of this whole quarantine situation is a lot of people aren't getting outside 
as much as they should be. A lot of people are stuck inside gaming. A lot of people are stuck inside just pondering, thinking, not doing anything. And this can cause you to go stir crazy. It's done that to me. So I just suggest that you guys, you know, if you can obviously be safe, socially distance yourself from others. Don't go closer than six feet to other people when you're outside, but just get out, get some vitamin D. If you're like me, I always wear a hat. I need to make sure I'm taking off my hat and getting that vitamin D in sunlight because that's so important in mood and energy throughout the day. It's actually gonna help you with absorption of nutrients too as well in your body. So when you're eating, if you can't go to the gym, you can't burn the calories off, getting out for a walk or something or even a jog or anything that's gonna clear your mind and get you some vitamin D can help with that absorption of nutrients. Now for someone like me who has a lot of stir crazy thoughts, my mind is always wandering onto different things and anxiousness, anxiety, I can always think about a lot of negative things. I try to stay as happy and positive as possible. So go out for a walk, you know, listen to a podcast, listen to something I've been personally enjoying H3's podcast or Joe Rogan's podcast, two different ones that you guys can check out for yourselves. Just something that's completely mindless. And I suggest that you guys do that while maintaining movement, because that's such a big thing. If your body is sitting inside stationary all day, you're never going to get any of that energy, that momentum, that adrenaline rush that you get at some point, whether it be being in the gym or being at work or anything that involves active thinking and mobility. So I suggest that you guys go out for a walk, get some sunlight. Another thing that I've been doing is trying to learn a little bit more about one myself. So I've been doing a lot of reading as well as listening to podcasts and audiobooks on life and positive thinking, all these different things and positive mindsets. One book that I strongly suggest that you all you guys read is called A Champion's Mindset. I'm not sure who it's by, but if you search up A Champion's Mindset, I believe that's what it's called. Search it up. It's a great read. It's talks to you all about past Olympians journeys, past pro athletes journeys, all these different people that you guys can learn from and gives applicable stories exactly as what I'm trying to do to you guys today, show you guys what I've been through so that you know you can get better results, you can be happier, you can stay healthy, you can do all these different things. I've been watching and following Steffi Cohen and she's been doing 10 pages a day of reading whatever it is. Obviously she's doing more studies and stuff because that's what she she's working for. I'm sure she's doing other books as well and I'm finding the balance between you know doing studying doing research, researching my nutrition. How can I get leaner? How can I get stronger, faster, more athletic, higher capabilities of moving forward faster in my training? How can I do all those different things? So grab a book. There's tons of things online. You can go to YouTube, podcasts, as I said, just learn from that. Use that as a coping mechanism. If you're dealing with any anxiety, get your mind off of whatever it is, whether it be your appearance, your work financially. I know some of you guys are older audience as well. So just grab a book, read 10 pages a day. That's what Steffi's doing. That's what I'm trying to do. 10 pages pages a day or maybe like 30 minutes of a podcast just take that time and spend that time with yourself one thing with me personally that I have to avoid is waking up right in the morning going on social media and looking at the the comments or the views or stressing about those things I've been trying to avoid that for the first hour to two hours of my day because I don't want to set myself in that mental state before I go into my day where I'm already negative about something you know maybe a video hasn't done as well my comment section is pretty negative maybe something like that rather than doing that and going directly into into that pathway of negativity, I'd rather go on a positive path and go maybe, again, listen to a podcast, read a book. Some of you may be faith-based, I go read my Bible. I'm not trying to make this about religion in any way, but if you are a faith-based, that could be a big stress reliever for you. So I suggest doing any of those things and finding something that you can truly relax and get your mind off of any stressors, just do that. For a lot of my younger viewers, you don't have the social interaction that you usually would, where you're going out, hanging out with friends, you know, talking to friends constantly, and I know that's a big part in staying positive and healthy throughout the day. And I think obviously a lot of adults deal with anxiety and depression as well, but a ton of teenagers deal with anxiety and depression. So being socially isolated is a huge, huge detail that can affect you negatively. So try to get in contact with you can, you know, call an, an uncle that you haven't talked to in a while, call your grandparents, you know, call your brother, your sister, whoever it is, get on the phone and talk to some family members, make sure you're getting that social interaction so that you're not constantly winding up your own thoughts and getting stressed out about them. Anything you can do to distract yourself from being in that negative mental state, I suggest you do. Now, obviously that doesn't mean just avoid the anxiety and depression because that's going to just build up inside of you. And if you're just constantly avoiding it and never addressing the core issue, which may be you're constantly having a negative mindset, you're not getting enough vitamin D because people don't realize that even small things like that, you're not eating enough. You're not getting enough vitamin D. Your sleep is shit. You have the TV on late. All those different things can cause anxiety and eventually build up inside of you. I think that if you are feeling kind of pent up and stuff, calling someone and talking to someone, having that little bit of social interaction will definitely help you in getting out of that negative 
built up state that I know that a lot of you are in. I'm gaming a little bit, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It's just something, again, that gets your mind off of it. I don't suggest sitting inside for a long period of time just gaming, but at the end of the day, you know, you're just trying to relax, you wanna get your mind off things, you could game or anything that's gonna take your mind off things. Now, one huge thing that I found has helped me with stress relief is fixing my diet and my nutrition, maintaining a healthy diet, making sure that I'm getting all the right nutrients, because if you don't, you can raise cortisol like crazy. You don't even understand how much you're raising cortisol if you don't have the right nutrients, enough vitamin D, I can't stress that enough. And then if you're not eating enough, if you're not getting enough healthy fats, if you're eating ketogenic, all these different things can affect your hormones, which literally will make you feel in a shitty mood, regardless of if your situation is very good. You may be in a perfectly fine situation, but your cortisol is so high and all your stress and your hormones are so off that you can't put things into perspective and realize that whatever you're going through may not be that bad. For people like that, I suggest you do use this time to do some research. That's what I've been doing. I've been reading Jacob Wilson, The Ketogenic Bible, because I found that as soon as I dropped my carbs down, as soon as I lowered the amount that I was eating, my cortisol levels were super low. I started fasting, controlling my hunger, and taking control of that part of my life has allowed me to lower my stress from all the way up here. You know, I don't know what I'm gonna eat next. I'm constantly thinking about eating. My cortisol is so high all the time. So bringing that stress down by getting your nutrition right is definitely important during these stages. Don't just go and be like, oh, well, I'm not training, so I might as well just give up everything and not put any effort into maintaining my status as far as bodybuilding, fitness, nutrition, lifestyle. Because at the end of the day, if you just think of this quarantine time as a negative and as a time where you're completely screwed, there's nothing you can do about it, then you're gonna lose a lot of your gains. 100%, I can tell you that with 100% certainty. So be intentional about it. If you're taking a week off because you haven't the rest of the year, that's fine. Take a deload week, enjoy yourself, you know, go out and take your mind off of training and bodybuilding and nutrition. But I don't suggest that you completely let go because we don't know how long this is gonna last. We're hoping that it's gonna be soon that these gyms all open back up and we're able to all train again. But in this meantime, don't just let yourself go. Keep your diet on point, especially with the ketogenic diet, that's gonna help you spare protein and spare muscle so that you're actually gonna be maintaining your muscle mass more than you would on just a regular diet or standard American diet or anything other than that. So make sure you're keeping up with your goals. Make a plan, as I said in my last video, I've been journaling pretty much every day, asking myself what I have in mind for my goals, my plan for after this whole thing, after it all ends, but really just journaling and focusing on those things every morning, you know, throughout the day, if I feel stressed, just really think about these little minute details that are gonna put you ahead in the long run. Last but not least, I wanna talk about gratitude and journaling of gratitude because that's something that I've been doing as well. You don't need an actual journal for this. You can put it in your phone. You can even just think about it in your head. But when I wake up in the morning, the first thing I wanna do, it's not Instagram, it's not eating, it's not YouTube, it's not comments, it's not negativity in any way, shape, or form. It's giving thanks for three different things that I'm thankful for in my life. Like for example, today I was super thankful that I'm still in a healthy state and that I'm able to maintain this healthy state. That like, I've been blessed to stay healthy and stay strong throughout this entire period. And I hope that other people are as well. The next thing that I was thankful for was that my mom was able to stay down here and come down to Los Angeles with myself and my brothers while we're here so that I have a little bit of her support and the family can be together a little bit. The third thing that I was thankful for was my family has obviously been working extremely hard. My dad, especially being back at home, which is obviously tough knowing that we're all, all four of us are in Los Angeles. So thankful that he's given me the opportunity to do what I love to do, which is create content for you guys and push myself forward in my life to reach my maximum capabilities and capacities in every manner. So huge shout out to my parents. You guys don't ever see them in the videos, but huge shout out to my parents. I'm so thankful to have such an amazing family. My brothers push me every day to create new content, to be real with you guys, to talk to you guys, push my limits into new, new areas that will expand and help me move forward with my career. Thank you guys so much much for watching another video leave a comment down below about some different topics that you want me to talk about because I've done two videos and I'm running out of ideas so let me know what you guys think about all these different things you know if you're dealing with something maybe you want to leave a comment I'll try to get to as many of you guys as possible but even then let's spread some positivity maybe just drop a comment on somebody somebody else's who is having a tough time or anything like that and we'll spread some more positivity and make positivity louder than it is right now on my page thank you guys so much for watching the video if you did enjoy please leave a like down below subscribe to the channel 700k we're at like 695 absolutely insane all you guys subscribing thank you so much turn on the post notifications don't miss any of these videos the last response in the initial first 12 to 15 hours was insane for our videos so thank you so much i'll see you in the next one peace
At first I said that I love you and you ain't say that shit back It's kinda hard to just trust you when both your feelings don't match Got me showing less emotions, I don't wanna get attached Once I give you my word